With pressure mounting, the investigators dig into their work. They hope the flight recorders will help them understand why Lamia 2933 didn't make it to the airport. Take these black boxes to the lab. Both the cockpit voice recorder and flight data recorder appear to be in good shape. But they'll have to be sent to a lab to be processed before investigators can analyze them. While the flight recorders are being analyzed, investigators summon the last person to speak with the crew of Lamia 2933, air traffic controller. Thank you for meeting with me. It's been a very difficult time. Tell me what happened before they declared the emergency. Were there other planes on hold? Yes, three. Um, see, they were in a holding pattern right when Lamia radioed. What did you do when they told you they had a fuel emergency? But that's the crazy thing. They only told me that they had a fuel emergency right before they crashed, with no warning. The crew's delay in informing her put Molina in a tough situation. The investigators need to know how she handled it. To find out, they turned to the air traffic control tapes, which recorded the final 18 minutes of communication between Molina and the crew. OK, let's start. Radio 2933, good evening. Lamia 2933 Control, good evening. Lamia 2933, request priority for approach. We have a fuel problem. Even after reporting a fuel problem, the crew doesn't give Molina any cause for concern. Okay, understand you are requesting priority for landing also with a fuel problem, correct? Affirmative. How long until you need to start your approach, 2933? Only when Molina checks in with them does the crew finally speak up. We have a fuel emergency. That's why I'm asking you at once for final approach, requesting immediate descent. Pause. They declare a fuel emergency seven minutes after entering the holding pad. Why wait so long? Then they turn left here towards the runway. Turning left puts Flight 2933 in the direct path of other planes in the holding pad. Keep going. Lamia 2933, make a right turn now to begin your descent. Negative. We're already starting to descent. I'm heading for the runway. Moments later, the crew reports the plane has lost power. 2933, total electrical failure without fuel. Stop. They didn't explain the situation until it was too late. There's nothing she could have done. The investigators conclude Melena did what she could to help Lamia 2933 in those stressful moments before the crash. But the recordings raise another question. Here's what I don't get. The fuel warning should have gone off long before the start of the approach. But they don't declare an emergency until here. Did the plane's fuel warning system malfunction? Or is there another reason for the crash that they'll need to explore? 